Agreers, disagreers, all my tromboholics out there, welcome back to Agree to Disagree. And for those of you joining us for the first time, welcome to Agree to, to, to Agree to disagree. disagree. So, for those of you who saw the movie we're about to review, you'll know exactly what that opening was. But for those of you who didn't, <laughs> we just got out of seeing Big Hero 6, which yep. is Disney's really first, the first Disney Marvel movie, I want to say, because it's not like following anything that Marvel did beforehand, or yeah, and, and Disney had their touch on it. Disney had <laughs> a huge touch on it, but I have to say, well, well, first off, what were your expectations going into it? Um, average. I mean, I you know weren't through the roof. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think this is probably one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Oh, wow. uh, when I first heard about it, uh, you know, it's Disney making an animated Marvel film, so my expectations were really high. I'm not gonna lie. I, I know that you might smack me for this, but I was probably more just more excited for this than I was for Interstellar. Oh, <laughs> oh. Anyway, God. that being said, after seeing Big Hero Six, I thought it was phenomenal. Oh wow, that's that's going far. I mean, <laughs> I thought it was a very good movie. Yeah, I, I, overall it was very well done. Um, you know, the animations are great. It was visually beautiful. Um, there were some yeah. scenes I leaned over to and said, wow, this looks really good. Yeah, and <laughs> it was it was an animated movie, you know, definitely uh, appealing to, to kids, but it had laughs for mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I really appreciate when a movie can do that. Yeah. It's not just a, you know, a kid's fest. Yeah, and I, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well written, very well done. The acting was great. I thought the voice acting was yeah, great, spot on. I thought good. the cast was yeah. very well cast. Yeah. Um, which we'll go a little more into detail in, the f in a little bit. Right. Um, and yeah, I don't really have much bad things to say about it. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I have one thing, but I'll talk about it later in, in the review. Mm -hmm. um, overall, the story. What did you think of the story? Um, the direction story? Was uh, the story was kind of very much just how any other superhero movie is. I was going to say, it was, it's it very been of... there, done that. It was simple yet effective. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, exactly. Simple yet effective. There were some different twists on it, which I really appreciated. Um, you know, kind of the way that things came to be. Um, one, but as kind of like Spider-Man was, you know, avenging the death of his, his uncle. You yeah. Know, the aven avenging a death is a lot of times what happens with superheroes, stuff like that. Right. Um, you know, and they're very aware that they play to that yeah. cliche. There's uh, several lines in the movie. This is our origin story. Like, you know, they're very... It's, it was very self-aware. Yeah. It's very like meta humor. Yeah. It was very self-aware. Yeah. Um, and but in a good way, yeah, because it, yeah. those added to the last. Fun, I really yeah. Like. So anyway, now getting more into detail of everything, um, as I said, the story was very kind of been there, done that, but new twists that made it you know fresh at the same time. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about the, you know, the cast. You know, the acting. What What do you think of them? I, I thought they were great. I mean, <laughs> I didn't really have. A, I know you have a standout. I didn't really have a standout <laughs> though. I thought they were. They all did um, well in their, their roles. Yeah, um, I gotta say that uh, my standout has to be T.J. Miller. I thought he was so perfect as Fred. I was laughing almost every time that he said something. And it was I feel just, like that's every role he plays. Just, I love T.J. Miller. He's great. He's hysterical. Yeah. Um, and yeah, overall the, the, the casting was pretty much spot on. I really think I didn't really have any issues with anyone. The only weird thing with the acting, I, I guess it's acting or the way that the actress per, just decided to say this, uh, the one who does Honey Lemon, I forgot her na actual name, um, I think her last name is Rodriguez. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, uh. you know, the, the movie takes place in a made-up place called San Francisco. It's literally San Francisco mixed with Tokyo. Get it? <laughs> yeah, see? See what they did there? Um, and I thought it was very interesting because it's kind of the first Marvel film, or first Marvel story that doesn't take place in an actual place. Right. An actual location. Because, right. you know, Spider-Man has New York. Um, X-Men have all over the place. <laughs> um, Iron Man, California, New York, Captain yeah. America, New York. You know, yep. you, you get where I'm going Daredevil with this. Daredevil is yeah. all over the place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you, you know, you kind of get where I'm going there. Um, but I thought it worked. 
Uh, it had very good visual elements to ta to show you like how yeah. they combine the two, like the way the Golden Gate Bridge looked and stuff like that. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Uh, but anyway, I know that kind of went on a tangent. But back to my original point. Uh, the actress who did Honey Lemon, the way she said hero, like everyone said hero, hero, she go hero. Like she said it like with a Japanese accent <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know why. There's the only two characters in this whole movie that are like, you know, supposed to be Japanese. That's Hiro and Tadashi. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah. <laughs> so that that was a little, that was the only weird thing. I guess it's the one like kind of negative, like kind of the the way it was portrayed a little bit. Um that Hiro and Tadashi were the literally the only two Japanese base characters in my opinion. And then Honey Lemon saying Hiro. Like just like that. Yeah, I odd. didn't I didn't really pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. So I I mean, yeah, I know you're saying that now and saying that as a negative to me, I, I yeah. didn't... It, it, some people might just look past it. It is one of those yeah, things that I, it kind of... It just bothered me a little bit, for gotcha. whatever reason. Okay. Um, that's really the only thing that really bothered me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mo moving on. You know, we did the cast, did the story. Um, what about the visuals? I know I said the visuals are very good, but do you have any, like, in particular kind of things that you, like, stood out to you? Uh, stood out Baymax. Just Baymax. the look of that character is very mm -hmm. charming. Very, yeah. If I was a kid, I, I would want to get all the Baymax toys. I, you, <laughs> you still just want to get all the Baymax toys. I still toys. want to go get the Baymax. <laughs> Who am I, I kidding? I, I, I don't want a Baymax pillow. I'm not going to lie. It just looks very soft. I want, <laughs> I want Siri to have Baymax voice. That's, oh, that's what imagine I, that was an right? option. Yes, I want um, that. I want, <laughs> uh, uh, but, I want everything Baymax. Yeah, the, the, the visuals are very good. Um, yeah. We saw it in 2D, uh, first off. We didn't see it in 3D. I didn't think the 3D was necessary. There were a couple scenes that in my head I said, oh, this would have looked pretty cool in 3D. Right. Um, but I'm not the biggest 3D person, 3D fan. Right. Um, but one scene definitely stood out, and that was towards the end. Uh, you know, the very colorful scene. That's what I'm putting it as, for those of you who haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that that was very interesting. Yeah. Um, and I thought the writing for the film was very well done. Uh, it really kept you entertained the whole time. There weren't any really lulls or anything like that. Yeah, and we, we mentioned it before that there, there are a few cliches in there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't... There's a whole bunch of cliches. It's, yeah, it's, it's... It's a revenge story within a revenge story. Yes. <laughs> within... And it's very, like we said, simple. So yeah. it, I don't really... And my negative, my main negative is the fact that it, I don't think it really brings too much mm -hmm. new yeah. to the table. And... I, I mean that that's okay. I can look past that because it was a fun movie. But I mean, to me, it wasn't phenomenal. To okay. me, it was not something that I you know I'm probably gonna remember for years to come. It was a fun movie. Yeah. So. Although you did say to me that that was a classic when we walked out of it. It. <laughs> it had the feel of like something that people. Yeah. Will remember. It, it had that feel, and maybe if I was a kid, I would. Mm -hmm. That's how I would feel. But. Um, yeah. Ult ultimately, ultimately, I think it's just gonna be lost in the shuffle. Yeah, for me, I'm definitely going to remember this one. Um, I have to say that this year, animation movies it's, are just fantastic. knocking it out of the park. Yeah, fantastic. It's very interesting to see what the Oscar shift shape up to be next year. Absolutely. Between, and you know, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Lego Movie, Book, um, of, Life, Book of Life, Big Hero 6, Big Hero 6 Box Trolls. Um, I don't know if that'll be considered, that'll be considered animation, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so it seems like we're towards the end of this review, so I'm just going to ask a simple question, yes or no. Would this be your animated movie of the year? Given what we just said with all the anime movies. Just It's a toss up. It really is. Okay. It, it, it's it's a tough call. Because okay. Book of Life had that heart right. that you're looking for, but this one I felt was just like more was more fun, okay. in my opinion. Yeah, and so there, like there's nothing wrong. Yeah. And Lego movie was just, you know, that was Lego movie. It was it, I think I liked that one so much because I wasn't expecting that yeah. much from it. Yeah, that one felt like a classic just mm -hmm. purely from the animation standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. But um yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just. And I know curious. Book of Life is yours. I don't even have to ask you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big Hero Six was fun though. I, yeah. I'm not definitely a fun movie. Definitely go out and see it. It's definitely fun, but see Book of Life first. And I have to say the Stanley cameo, and it was very, oh god, very great. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the cameo. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Um, especially. Stay after the credits. Stay after the credits. There is something after the credits, because, hey, it's a Marvel movie. Yeah, stay, stay after the credits. So. Uh, but, yeah, anything else you want to talk about before we wrap this one up? There is nothing else I want to talk about, Chris. Okay. Well, comment below what you thought of Big Hero 6. What is your animated movie of the year? Um, this Book of Life, Lego movie, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Gone Girl. Anything else. <laughs> 
Uh, what was your favorite part? Who was your favorite? Who, did you have a standout actor on the? It was really an ensemble cast, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, and I, as I said, T.J. Miller was definitely mine. Yeah, and Baymax was my standout. Yeah. And if you could <laughs> get any kind of Baymax influenced toy object, so be it. What would it be? Pillow. Pillow. I. I or beanbag want... chair. Baymax beanbag, beanbag chair. chair. <laughs> yes, make it happen. <laughs> I want. Baymax, period. I want just well, a, a Baymax. Anyway, until next time, let's hope we can all just agree. To disagree.